With rumours of his elevation swirling around, Rahul Gandhi took centre stage at the PhD Chamber of Commerce in New Delhi. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us on India Business Hour. I'm Shireen Kwitika here with me in the studio. In a speech that lasted about 30 minutes, the Congress Vice President slammed the Modi government's economic policies. Gandhi is widely believed to take over as the President of the Congress Party soon. He did not mince his words as he attacked the government over demonetizing even the recent PSU bank recapitalization plan. Slamming demonetization, Gandhi said the Prime Minister used his vast powers to unleash terror on citizens. Terming the GST as the Gabbar Singh tax, Gandhi claimed the trust in the government is dead and small businesses are getting no support. He went on to criticize the 2 trillion rupee recapitalization plan for public sector banks, saying it will only benefit big businesses and that the center is throwing crumbs at medium and small enterprises. Here are the highlights from Rahul Gandhi's address on what he makes of the state of the economy. I say this as an opposition member, but it is being said by many people who are not in the opposition that the trust in this government is dead. In a couple of weeks from now, we will observe the death anniversary of the 500 and 1000 rupee note. November the 8th is the Barsi of note bandi. The Prime Minister failed to grasp the basic concept of the Indian economy. The most fundamental concept. All cash is not black and all black is not cash. The Persing tax, a tax as this government has formulated it, has already unleashed a tsunami of tax terrorism. Small micro and medium businesses are screaming, are screaming in pain. They are drowning. And Mr. Arun Jaitley, with his impeccable logic, has the nerve to go on TV every other day and tell people that things are just fine. Modi ji and his government have fired a double tap at the heart of our economy. First note bandi, bang, and then GST, bang. We are staring at a disaster. I'm not talking of technology making jobs redundant as, it ha as is happening in the West. This is a pure man-made disaster, or in Modi ji's terminology, an MMD, a Modi-made disaster. Let me be very clear, the only force capable of meeting the chi Chinese challenge is the network of small, micro and medium business. Nobody else. The truth is, even yesterday's bank recapitalization announcement because it's only an announcement, targets only India's biggest businesses while throwing crumbs at MSMEs. Startup India is welcome for the economy, but it cannot be accompanied by Shut Up India. 